welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabriella Catano from Catano Glam and this is Catano Glam English. Guys, I know it's not Halloween, but I had some major inspo in the last few days. I live between Miami and LA and I am currently in Miami and there is a hurricane coming. Hurricane Dorian, I hope he doesn't hit us. Hurricanes are no fun. You're stuck without power for a long time. Sometimes if it's strong enough, like with strong enough winds, you can get damage to your property, to the landscape around everywhere. The power just goes out so you can't even be out on the streets because there's no street lights and it's just a mess. Anyway, I did get inspo to do a cool makeup look, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're interested, keep on watching. But first, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss a video ever. And if you are a real one, you'll also hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I post, which is usually about once a week. And let's just get right into it. Okay, so... I have completely transformed or untransformed. I just wanted to hop on here before we get started with my eyes and just tell you how I prepped my skin for this look. So first off, I went ahead and used the Catano by Anise Collagen Toner for skin tightening. It's gonna just balance out my pH on my skin and also help close up my pores before I apply the shit ton of makeup that I have on right now. This comes in a kit of five skincare products. I use it all the time. I will leave a little link right up here where you guys could check out my at-home spa facial that I use with all the Catania by Anise products. They are limited edition and they are currently on sale for $99.99. Just thought you guys would like to know. For primer, I used two different primers. The first one is from Beauty Blender and it is called Opal Essence. I love it because it really makes my skin super glowy. You can either just leave it on for a nice glow and add some concealer or you can mix it in with your foundation. And for my pores, I also use the No Pore Problem primer from Touch and Soul that I got in a BoxyCharm box a few months ago. Okay guys, so I'm gonna try to create today a calm before the storm type of makeup look. Um, that means I think one side of my face is gonna be like a more sunny, sunset, pretty orangey, yellow tones, and then the other side is gonna be more blue, gloomy, dark, maybe with some lightning. Let's see, I'm taking inspiration from this James Charles look, which I think is absolutely amazing. I don't know if he took it from inspiration from someone else, but uh, I'm just gonna roll with something similar that he did. So let's get right into it. So I went ahead and zoomed you guys in a little bit just so we could really see the eye look. Today, I am going to be prepping my eyes with the Jeffree Star Concealer. It is in the shade C7 and it's the Magic Star Concealer. And I'm just blending it out with a brush at first because I feel like the brush doesn't pick up as much product like a beauty blender does. And then with a the beauty blender, I can just blend everything out even more and it can pick up that excess product. And I'm gonna start off by trying to create some sort of thundery sky on this side of my eye and then we'll move on to the sunny part on this side because my whole point is I want it visually to look like from the left to the right, like the calm before the storm, you know, like when you read like that. So I want the sunny to be on the left and the thunder to be on the right. So the first product that I'm gonna take to begin creating that thundery sky is the L'Oreal Infallible Paints in the shade BRB Blue. So I'm just gonna stamp on the blue side and it also has like a little gray side and I'm going to stamp that on as well. And I'm just taking a fluffy Urban Decay brush to blend it all out. And the key with these is that because it's a liquid cream form eyeshadow, you really want to blend them out ASAP because if not, they will stay put after it dries. So I just want to make sure it gets nice and blended as soon as possible. I'm going to take another L'Oreal Infallible Paints eyeshadow in the shade Navy Yard and I'm taking obviously the darker blue shade and I'm going to focus that more on the outer part. And with the other side of the brush that's a little bit thinner, I'm going to blend that out. And I'm bringing it in to the inner portion of the crease as well. And then taking the other side and blending it even further. And I'm kind of blending it all the way like out here. I want it to be super like dispersed and like just like... <laughs> no other way to explain it, honestly. And I'm going to take whatever is left on my brush and kind of bring it up here. So now I'm gonna hop into the Urban Decay X Kristen Leanne Kaleidoscope Dream Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm gonna take this dark blue shade that's called TRM and begin to apply it around the outer portion of my crease and inward. And then whatever is left over, kind of bring it out a little bit. 
So now it looks like a beautiful blue has come to life and we're gonna darken that up because it's not supposed to look so beautiful. I want it to look a little bit stormier, darker, so I'm gonna take the black that comes in this palette and add it to this eyeshadow. I'm gonna start off by adding it kind of little by little just to deepen up the eyes. And I'm taking the, the tinier part of that brush and then slowly blending it towards the inside. And we can also follow it down here and then just begin blending it with the other side of that brush that had more of like the blue shades. And I really wanna pack on this black on the outer corner. Kind of look like it's some sort of like cat eyeliner that I did. So if you notice, I'm kind of just packing it on like this and I'm barely dragging it. I'm not really like going back and forth unless I switch over to this side, which is what I'm doing right now. So there is a very light blue right next to the dark blue. It's in the shade LCW and I'm going to pinch the poofy part of the brush and just apply this under here and then just blend it out with that black and dark blue. So I'm actually gonna go and blend this inner corner because I think I like went a little overboard with that blue. So I just took a clean brush and I'm just blending the inner part so that it's not so shockingly blue. I'm gonna actually take this off because <laughs> it's uncomfortable AF. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of a MAC pigment and this one is in the shade Deep Blue Green and just press that into my eyelid. So we've got a nice smoky blue eye and I wanna add a little bit of this heavy metal glitter from Urban Decay. It's a beautiful blue and it's in the shade Gamma Ray. So I'm just gonna focus it on the inner portion of my eyelid and just stamp it on. So now that that dried, I'm gonna hop into the Lunar Beauty Life's a Drag palette. I feel like I don't even have to introduce this palette anymore to you guys and I use it because I just, I use it so much. But I'm gonna take a mixture of the white and the black to create the perfect gray shade. Hopefully this works. I'm gonna go by first kind of connecting this portion, just darkening up that blue, taking it all the way to the hairline, all the way to kind of the forehead area. I think that's a pretty good amount. Now what I'm gonna do is take only the white, which is extremely matte, and just blend the outer corners so that it's not like a random harsh and abrupt line. I think for now that looks pretty good. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm not gonna touch it and I'm gonna move on to the sun eye. So I'm going back to the Urban Decay palette and I'm gonna pick up this orange and I'm gonna apply that right into the crease. And I'm aware that right now it kind of looks like a day and night, but I promise you I'm not done. I'm gonna kick it up a notch at the end. So I have not gone back to get any more product. This honestly is just all from the first time I dipped into the palette. It is so pigmented. So let's just talk a little bit about why I'm doing this. So if you guys don't know, I live in Miami and we are currently on hurricane, I think it's hurricane watch or hurricane warning when it's like officially like, okay, it's going to you guys. You need to stock up on your food, batteries, gas, like go to the ATM, take cash out, like all that stuff. Um, so yeah, there is a huge storm that supposedly is coming our way. It's called Dorian, but all jokes aside, honestly, the hurricane is no joke. And I feel like as a Miamian or a Floridian, as most would say, we don't really pay attention to the warnings for hurricanes or the, you know, hurricane watch or whatever it is, because it can honestly shift at the last minute and it can go from a category four to a category two as soon as it touches land. So for those of you that have never experienced a hurricane, I feel like it's a lot scarier for you versus the people that have lived here their whole lives. It's kind of bad because I feel like people don't prepare until like the day before or two or three days before. Like right now, the lines for gas are extremely long. I don't know, I got gas the other day. It was like two days ago and I should be good at least for the rest of next week. Also, I don't think I'm gonna need to drive anywhere because the weather after a hurricane sucks too. Now that it's nice and orange and blended out, I'm gonna move on to the Lunar Beauty. I'm gonna pick up this burgundy and I'm gonna deepen up the crease with that. Damn, both of these palettes today are super pigmented. And if you noticed, I am blending it out all the way out here and like under the eye as well. 
Now that we've got the orange, the red, it's time to throw in a little bit of yellow and I'm gonna take this shade right here, it's called Campy, and I'm gonna start to place it up top and just see how it goes. I honestly don't have, I have a vision, but I just work with the colors as I like start using them. So I'm just stamping it on top of what was already there, which was a mixture of that orange and burgundy shade. So now that that looks like a really pretty yellow, orange, red gradient, I'm going to hop into this liquid glitter. It's actually a liquid eyeshadow that's from the brand Appeal and it is in the shade gold. So I am gonna draw a cut crease and just start to stamp it on. I always love creating looks like this because at first you can be really messy and like there's really nothing wrong with the makeup and at the very end is when it's like, okay, all the little details, like I have to be so careful. But right now I'm kind of just having fun. So I'm hopping back into that burgundy shade and I'm gonna start blending it in with the glitter that I just applied so that it's not like a harsh abrupt line between the glitter and the red. So we're gonna leave the eyes like this. I'm not gonna do anything else to it. And now is when we're gonna really get into it. I'm gonna start by creating a few lightning bolts and I'm gonna be taking the white liquid liner from NYX to do so. So I'm gonna start from right here. Ugh, it's hard. You see? It gets hard! Woo! I'm frustrated as fuck right now. So I just put this crazy shit back on because I cannot deal with all the freaking baby hairs. No, thank you. Okay, they're getting in the way of my lightning. Alright, we're gonna leave it like that. Looks kind of like a galaxy slash a broken doll makeup slash I don't know what. I'm gonna try off camera to create a few more lines, maybe if I could get a little bit closer to the mirror. Try to use both of my hands, and I'll be right back. All right guys, after that fiasco, I'm finally ready to move on to the sun ray portion. So I'm gonna take the liquid eyeshadows from L'Oreal, and this is in the shade Sunset Fire. And the brush I'm using is the Morphe M250-1. And I'm just adding some squiggly lines to resemble rays of the sun. So switching over to the other side, which is more of like a pinky metallic look. Hopefully it gives it a little bit more dimension. And I'm going to try to get close to that orangey part that I just did. And now I'm going to hop back into the Appeal Liquid Eyeshadow that was in that gold shade because I just want to add a little touch of gold glitter. And I'm going to add a little more to my inner corner. Also right here. Off camera, I'm gonna apply my lashes and I will be right back to show you the final look. All right guys, well there you have the look with my lashes. I am using lashes from Style Lashes by Wendy. And by the way, I didn't mention this, but I added a little bit of glitter from Glossier and the pot that I used was... Not the pot, because people think, oh my God. <laughs> The glitter pot that I use is the Glitter Jelly and it is in the shade Phantasm. so that I know which one you guys like the best. The blue stormy lightning and thunder side or the hot sunny summer girl side. I honestly love both of them and I can't decide. I had a lot of fun with it. I actually created it in less than an hour. Usually these kinds of like artsy looks take me like about three hours to create. I think it's because I did my face off camera. I really, really like it and I'm happy that I got the chance to do it kind of have an eerie and weird feeling about where I got my inspo from, aka Hurricane Dorian. This is currently before the hurricane, so I will keep you guys updated over on my Instagram accounts, which I will leave right over here with any information, just kind of with the aftermath, if it ends up hitting us, if it doesn't hit us, which I hope not. Anyway, enough hurricane talk. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment down below if you did. Give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to see more of my videos. And if you're already subscribed and and for some reason don't get the chance to see all of my videos, make sure you hit the notification bell. That'll notify you exactly when I post. All right, guys, until next time.